M0 FXB, welcome to my videos on the VGC N76. We have an announcement, a very important firmware update for the N76. It says here one click linking. This feature allows you to quickly detect the frequency of unknown two way radios as well as CTCSS DCS. Then send DTMF. This feature allows you to send DTMF codes to activate repeater through the N76 radio. Other small updates, you can send APRS messages to designated recipients. Follow the instructions. So it says here, go to the settings page where you would update your firmware, tap it 10 times, and then it will upload. Initially, when you enter that page, it will say that there are no updates available. This is beta firmware, but it's gonna work fine. Once updated, it will be 0.7.4.32. And if you've never used this system before, and there is a base model called the 7500, look, you can change channels, look, using an app. Also has built-in APRS features, GPS. And you'll see here, if we select, there you are, we've got a station on now, just turn it up. Uh, yeah, nice to hear you, mate. It's a lovely set to use. Uh, it's a fairly and it can do dual band. Swipe across like so, dual channel, go back, look, and then you can view maps and send and receive APRS. I'm pretty sure it even acts as an eye gate as well. So there you go. Let's uh, do the update. So we'll, do, we'll hit the down arrow. Then actually, no, we're looking for settings, aren't we? There it is there. Settings on this window. So you swipe out. Settings. Firmware version, it says hit the number 10 times. One, two, three, four, five. I'll keep doing it. I'll work it out. The update is complete. Click OK. So let's go back. And we will, I'm gonna, I am going to turn it off and on. Like so. I'm also going to start the connection. Reconnect. If you have to, you can select your N76. There's my other models, look. Swipe out. Like so. Let's look for the settings. 7.4. So I wonder if it, because it did say 7.5. I will just try it and see if it goes to 7.5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, look, 7.5, so I am gonna do that. I let it do that as well. Okay, we're all updated, so if we back out completely, we'll go menu, down one to signaling, select, send a message, but we can go down one, look, DTMF, type your DTMF. Like so, if we go back to the original menu, press menu, keep going down to we see one click linking, select, and then we'll go, we'll key the mic on this H3. Yeah, you can see it stopped and it found that and you can actually save it if you want. Save it to one of your empty channels, if I've got any empty, I think they're all full. So yeah, we'll have a little tinker with this, uh, but yeah, updated to the beta firmware. Bye for now. Another one is the tone scanning. Go menu, all the way down. Tone scan, there's that, and then we key up here. And there you are, it finds the tone as well. Okay, more videos to follow on this, 7.3. To send a DTMF, you just press menu. Go down one, signaling. Send DTMF, type what you want to type. Now this is connected to my node here. Star three, four, one, five, two, two. And then press OK. Now listen here. You don't hear it come from this radio, but you hear it on, on this radio watch. So it is sending out DTMF, no problem at all. Bye for now.